Hello friends, this is Dr. Mohammed Faisal Jalil. Today's topic of our discussion is single phase synchronous motors. Single phase synchronous motors are classified as reluctance motor or a single phase reluctance motor and his stresses motor. In today's discussion, we will be focusing on reluctance motors. Before going in the depth of reluctance motor, let's have an introduction to the single phase synchronous motor. The single phase synchronous motors are used for very low power drives requiring constant speed operation. And in these application, these uh, synchronous motors, single phase synchronous motors are preferred. These single phase synchronous motors are basically induction motors, but only difference is that they operate at synchronous speed. These single phase synchronous motors are classified on the basis of types of rotor construction or on their working principle. Before going in the depth of construction and working principle of reluctance motor, let us first revise a few basic principles and uh, definition of reluctance. As we know that reluctance is defined as the opposition to the flow of magnetic flux and reluctance is analogous to the resistance. Reluctance is given by the reluctance is given by this relation. Let us take an example in this we have a permanent magnet and and, and, and any magnetic material which may be either a ferromagnetic material or a paramagnetic material and this magnetic material gets magnetized due to this permanent magnet. So it will develop a force and it, and it will be a force of attraction and uh, and, and it will get uh, magnetized the, the, the magnetic material. So as to, uh, the, the force of attraction will uh, try to reduce the, the, the reluctance which is offered by the air gap and uh, these uh, the force of attraction will cause this uh, this uh, this magnetic material to move towards the the permanent magnetic material construction now let us see how the reluctance motor is is being built by the the principle that has been previously discussed discussed it is a synchronous motor based on the principle of reluctance offered by rotor to the stator like other Electromagnet, uh, electromechanical machines, the reluctance motor also have two parts, stator and rotor. Stator. Uh, stator of reluctance motor is exactly same as that used for a single phase induction motor. The same stator is used uh, for single phase reluctance motor that has been used for single phase induction motor. Uh, like, uh, like we have uh, seen that for induction motor there are two windings, single phase induction motor there are two windings, main winding and auxiliary winding. You can see that here also we will be having uh, main winding and auxiliary winding placed at 90 degree with each other and, uh, and a centrifugal switch which has been connected between these two main and auxiliary winding and these stator windings main and auxiliary winding are excited with the help of a single phase supply the rotor would have been placed in in between these main and auxiliary winding the, there is no difference in construction of a reluctance motor as far as the stator is concerned the the, the reluctance motor uh, stator is similar as that has been used for a single phase induction motor now let's come to the rotor part. The rotor is also a squirrel cage type, uh, but there are certain modifications. These modification has been done to the simple squirrel cage motor so as to accommodate the variable uh, variable reluctance phenomena. Uh, you can see that that the the the, the simple uh, simple squirrel cage motor has been modified to form a salient pole type construction. These are the uh, the salient poles. And, and these salient pole type construction will facilitate the variable, variable reluctance phenomena. So uh, in this, uh, the, the, the thick copper bars have been placed on the rotor poles and in all four poles. And uh, it has been short circuited uh, by two end rings similar that has been used for a squirrel cage. And the air gap, you can see that the air gap between stator and rotor 
at this pole phase the the air gap between stator and rotor at this pole phase will be minimum and the air gap between stator and rotor at the these positions at these positions will be maximum so it means that with this rotor construction the variable reluctance is offered by rotor to the stator and these modifications have been done in the simple or a basic squirrel cage type construction uh, so as we we can accommodate the variable reluctance phenomena now let us come to the working at the time of starting both main and auxiliary winding are energized to produce uh, produce the starting torque or a rotating magnetic field will be produced with the help of the main main, uh, main and auxiliary windings and the induction uh, or a reluctance motor has been started as a single phase induction motor but when motor reaches at a of a speed around 70 to 80 percent of its nominal rated value the centrifugal switch operates and it will open and it, it will open the auxiliary winding similarly uh, similar for the uh, similar for the case as that of uh, resistance start or capacitance start induction motor the uh, the auxiliary winding is now de-energized and motors speed is decided as per the main winding all only and up to this point there is no change in the working of a single phase reluctance motor in comparison with the induction motor now let us take uh, if we have a four pole machine the the synchronous speed will be around 1500 rpm and when uh, when uh, when slip is uh, is close to zero and at this speed uh, at this uh, slip or uh, at this slip the speed is nearly synchronous speed and and at this speed the the induced emf in the the rotor would be zero uh, and and the current will be zero and induction motor torque the torque uh, uh, the the torque due to the induction motor action will be zero so uh, at a speed equal to synchronous speed the the induction torque vanishes and simultaneously the reluctance torque will develop and rotor get itself aligned or get itself locked with the stator field rotating at a synchronous speed so by reminding the uh, the, the basic concept of uh, reluctance the rotor wants to catch up with the stator field so as to reduce the reluctance the the salient poles of rotor are aligned themselves to provide minimum reluctance path with respect to stators synchronously moving flux due to the uh, due to the variable reluctance offered by rotor to the stator flux the rotor will try to acquire the speed of the stator flux and the torque produced in the switch condition is called as reluctance torque so it is due to the reluctance torque only the the single phase reluctance motor will be operating at synchronous speed now let us take the speed torque characteristics of re reluctance motor so uh, on 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 y axis we have torque and on x axis we will be having speed at zero speed here at at zero speed at at zero speed the slip will be unity and at at a speed equal to synchronous speed the the slip is the slip is zero so at the at the time of starting there will be the both uh, both main and auxiliary winding energized and the characteristics would be like this uh, it's moving like this and at any predefined speed uh, which is equal to 70 to 80 percent of uh, synchronous speed the centrifugal uh, switch opens and only main winding would be there and the, this is the characteristics of ma only main winding and and it reaches to the maximum torque and the and as per the main winding the characteristics are like this shown by the blue line and and, and, and these characteristics is basically uh, torque is uh, as per the torque is directly proportional to the slip and the slip is decreasing and the therefore the torque will be decreasing like this 
so when we reach to the point when speed is is equal to the synchronous speed and at this point so at this point the 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 main winding torque will be zero or induction torque will be zero the only torque will be developed as uh, is is as per the uh, or is the relaxed reluctance torque and reluctance torque is provided to uh, is provided so as to keep the operation of this reluctance motor at synchronous speed it is the the reluctance torque only which is responsible for the operation at synchronous speed i hope i have provided basics of this reluctance motor thank you all god bless you